hello friends now we will try to analyze or we will try to find the current gain of bgt amplifier at high frequencies with resistive load we have bgt uh, amplifier which is having our bgt with resistive load we will try to find the current gain this is basically the uh, high frequency equivalent circuit of bgt this is connector terminal this is emitter terminal this is base terminal and b dash is internal uh, internal you can say node which is not accessible and rbb dash is called base spreading resistance that is the resistance between external terminal of the device and some fictitious point inside the b layer fine in this uh, is ac equivalent circuit at high frequencies we will neglect this conductance we will not consider this although we have mentioned earlier also there is some conductance we will not be talking about this and we will neglect this resistance which is on the output side this resistance is called r output resistance it is normally assumed to be very large as compared to low resistance so we will not talk about this fine in that case if you see the output voltage of this circuit will be minus gm into rl into vb dash so we will say the voltage gain of this is v not upon v b dash e and that is equal to minus g m into r l this is what we will be talking about fine so v b dash is this voltage that is between b dash and e this gives this gain now this capacitor can be connected on input side we know there is something called miller's theorem and that miller's theorem defines or that miller's theorem defines that this capacitor in feedback between input that is vb dash this voltage and output voltage we know when the uh, capacitance is connected between these two terminal that can be transferred on input side like this there is one capacitance here and second is of course c pi this capacitance will be taken as c mu dash this is the capacitance which is normally denoted by c b dash c on that is feedback capacitance so i will say it is c dash mu where c dash mu is nothing but 1 minus voltage gain ab into c mu fine and equivalent of these two that i'll say input miller capacitance that is miller's input capacitance you can say and this can be connected as c mu double dash and this capacitance from the feedback can be removed according to miller's theorem if there is a capacitance connected between input and output terminals that can be connected on input side as c mu dash where c mu dash is nothing but 1 minus ab into c mu ab is the voltage gain of this that is v not upon this voltage that is vb dash e so this is the voltage gain so if you replace a mu so this will become 1 minus or plus rather gm into rl multiplied by c mu and the c the mu double dash will be or before that i'll write it like this what will be miller's this cmi is called miller's input capacitance that is equal to this c pi you can write it cb dash e as well it is your choice c pi plus 1 plus gm into rl multiplied by c mu cmi is what cmi is called miller's input capacitance this is important for engineering services examination important for engineering services prelims examination there can be question based on this you may be given these different parameters and you may have to find the miller's input capacitance and uh, that is this c pi this capacitance 
plus 1 plus gm into r into c mu where your voltage gain is gm into rl fine so similarly we have capacitance on output side c double c mu double dash and that is 1 minus 1 by av into c mu that is equal to 1 minus 1 by gm into rl multiplied by c mu c mu double dash and on output side this can be called as outputs miller uh, that is miller's output capacitance that is 1 plus gm into rl by gm into rl multiplied by c mu this is called miller's output capacitance so there are two capacitances in this circuit one is this cmi another is this cm not fine so that means there will be two cutoff frequencies for this for input side so uh, this circuit will have above circuit or you can say this circuit have two cutoff frequencies two higher or two upper cutoff frequencies i will say two upper cutoff frequencies fine what will be those two frequencies first one is c upper cutoff frequency say c h1 is equal to 1 by r equivalent on input side into c equivalent input side this is f cutoff frequency fine into 2 pi where what will be that is for input side i'll say that is for input side and that is equal to what will be uh, equivalent resistance on input side r equivalent that will be simply this resistance r b dash e or that is equal to r pi fine similarly if you see on output side i am neglecting this component for the time being r b dash what is this r b b dash is neglected here Similarly, what will be C equivalent and that I, you know, that is CMI, that is CMI, that is equal to C pi plus 1 plus GM into RL into C mu. Fine. This is your Miller's input capacitance. So, if you put this in this equation, you get to cut off frequency because of the input capacitance. Similarly, we have a second cut off frequency FH2 fine that will be 1 by 2 pi r equivalent 2 into c equivalent 2 that is capacitance on output side what is this r equivalent what is this r equivalent that is the thermal equivalent resistance seen across the capacitive terminal if you see you open the terminal see the resistance that will be r b dash e that's what i am trying to say now fh2 what will be equivalent resistance seen across capacitive terminal on, on output side provided what input you set input to 0 set input to 0 so when input is set to 0 vp dash will be 0 this will be open circuit and open the terminals of capacitor see resistance across the terminals of capacitor that is rl so here this will be rl and what will be c equivalent to that is equal to cm naught and that is 1 plus gm into rl by gm into rl into c mu so this gives the capacitance equivalent capacitance on output side this gives equivalent resistance on output side and this gives the second upper cut of frequencies remember so if you if you see the frequency response on a higher side First of all, when capacitor is in parallel and output is taken across the capacitor, that circuit is low pass circuit. So, in this case, this circuit has two cutoff frequencies. One is, say, FH1 and second is FH2. So, that will be definitely somewhere like this. So, that will be second cut off frequency for the same gain suppose this is 1 this is 1 by root 2 this is current gain ai with the load resistance this is f fine say so this is a max this is a max current gain fine 
so this is fh2 my stress is my stress is not on this current gain my stress is there are two cut off frequencies two upper cut off frequencies for this circuit which has two capacitances one on output side or another is on input side whenever there are two cut off frequencies what which should be the effective cut off frequency the lower one will be the overall cut off frequency because it will not allow the gain to it will not allow our frequencies beyond this so whenever there are multiple cut off frequencies multiple upper cut off frequencies then the lowest of all the cut off frequencies will be the overall cut off frequency of the circuit this is what you need to remember this is important you should remember there can be question on this try to remember this as well there can be question on this and there can be the question on the concept i am talking about i repeat the point please remember this point whenever there are multiple upper cut off frequencies whenever there are multiple upper cut off frequencies the lowest of all these frequencies will be the overall cut off frequencies so for example if there are two cut off frequencies here the lower one is this so this will be the overall cut off frequency of the amplifier fine so the lowest of all the upper cut off frequencies is overall cut off frequency of the amplifier this is the point you should remember and that frequency is definitely the dominant frequency dominant you can say dominant upper cut off frequency of the amplifier so this is important concept i hope you understand the point so this is important from examination point of view and now onward we will be talking about the mosfet frequency response high upper uh, you can say high frequency response of mosfet before we start with high frequency response of mosfet we will be talking about the different capacitances of mosfet then its high frequency model and then we will be talking about the frequency response upper frequency response so just wait for my next video thank you very much for watching the video